Hi, hello, how are you, Amanda? Saint artist. <laughs> I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial using two colors today and I'm going to be using a demi brush. This is the blur brush and I've been using this recently and loving it as an eyeshadow brush, not so much a demi brush. We all know I'm a fan of the 3D, not so much a fan of the demi, but I do love the blur brush. So if you're looking for an eyeshadow brush that can check all the boxes, go get a demi blur brush because it has this short end very similar to the short end of the smudge brush, which I love. But then on the other side, it has a fluffy end, which is very similar to the fluffy end of the eyeshadow brush. So it kind of combines two brushes into one, which make an amazing eyeshadow brush. And the reason I like this is because the colors I'm going to use today, you will need a short end and you will need a fluffy end. So here we go. I'm going to use two colors. And these are colors that I want to show that dark isn't necessarily dark. These are the two colors. I've got Peppa right here. It's a nice shimmer. And then right here I have Revival. And this is a really great fall mauve deep color, but it doesn't have to be. My kids are running back and forth and we're just going to go with it. Okay, so I've already prepped my lids with my primers. I put on my brightening highlight and I set it with a powder. If you have a great eyeshadow primer, use that. But we're just going to dig right in. So I'm going to start on the fluffy end. Now when you're using a fluffy brush, you're going to pick up less product. So the denser the brush the more product you're gonna pick up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is on the fluffy end, I'm gonna go into Peppa. And I wanna use a fluffy brush. I typically use my finger, but I'm gonna be putting this on my brow bone to highlight and add lift to my brows. So I'm just gonna tap this in, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna pop this, and I'm just gonna tap it up here. And it's just gonna add a little bit of dimension. It's gonna add a little bit of shimmer. It's just gonna pop out from underneath. And I like the light pinkness, so it's not so white and bright. It's, I love, I mean, I've hit tin. I love this color. I've been using this color for years. This tiny little tin has lasted me years. So again, I'm just going to tap this under my brow right here just to add a little bit of shimmer, just like that. All right. The next color I'm going to go into is that revival color. I'm going to go in on the short end right here, tap on. See, it does pick up pretty heavy. It doesn't come across here, but it does pick up heavy. Always tap off excess. I'm gonna open my eyes and I'm gonna pop it way out here. Now that looks dark. It looks super scary. I'm gonna push this into my lash line here and I'm gonna push this onto my brow bone. Now I have hooded eyes and so all of this comes down here and it takes away. So I always start on the outside of my eye and I work my way up onto my brow bone. And then I'm just gonna push this in and I'm merely putting this where I want it and it looks dark and scary. What's left, I'm just gonna pull down under my eye here and I'm just gonna smoke this out and make it undefined. I'm gonna flip it to the fluffy end and now I'm just gonna blend. I'm gonna blend it in, I'm gonna blend it up and it's just gonna blend down and it's gonna become a nice neutral fall look. Now you can build this up and make this a very deep color and great for a date night. You could even take this to work with you and have this nice subtle work look and then grab a little more and deepen it out with your finger. You don't need to bring a brush. Just tap it with your finger and you can rub it in on the outside and darken it up. I'm gonna add a little more with the fluffy end because I don't want a lot to the outside of my lid. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna go in on the short end. We're gonna go back into Peppa. And I'm just gonna press this on my lid on the inside and make it just a little thicker by using the dense end on the top. Here I use the fluffy end. And I'm just going to add a little something extra. And then I'm also gonna put it right down on the inner corner. And it's just a really beautiful combination. I wanna blend this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in on the fluffy end and I'm just gonna to add to that brow bone right here. I have a tendency to drop down on this part of my brow bone and it creates this swoop. <laughs> All right, so short end and I'm gonna pop this with my eyes open on the outside corner and then I'm gonna use this to just push and smudge. This is like the smudge brush on this end. And I'm gonna push this around into the crease, onto that brow bone right there, under the eye. And then we're just gonna move this around. I'm gonna add a little more to this corner, flipping it to my fluffy end and blending it down and out. Just to where you want it and you just build, build, build. Don't try to go too far. Always try to build, and that's with any makeup. If you go too far too fast, it's hard to take away. It's easy to add. All right, going into that Peppa on the short end here, pushing in and pressing it onto my lid. So 
easy. Now you can spray your brush and you can deepen either one of these colors and make them a more dimensional look. But I thought Revival is one of those colors that people see and they just say, I just want an everyday look. Revival can be an everyday look. I'm going to take another brush. This is my eyeshader brush. Love this brush. And I'm gonna use setting spray. Saint setting spray and I'm gonna wet the brush. I love this eyeshader brush. I wish Saint had a brush similar to this. It's wide, but it's also fairly thin, but thick. It's not super skinny like the multitasker brush. And I'm gonna push into Revival wet. And this is going to make it darker. I'm going to grab a little mirror here and I'm going to create a smoky shadow with this. I have brown eyes and it's really hard to make brown eyes pop, but when you're using mauve purple colors, it seems to do the trick for me. I'm going to use this just to smoke out this outer corner, bringing it up. And it's just going to create this really beautiful liner. I need to turn my eyeball so I don't scare my eyeball. But look at how pretty that is with Revival. See how pretty it's light, it can be dark. Tapping in with that wet brush, flicking off the excess and doing the same thing here. All I'm doing, I can't wink so my eyes flicker. And I'm just creating a nice deep winged liner with Revival. Getting that inner corner here. This just extends the lash line. Add a little more to this side. You can't get two sides the same. That I am sure of. Get that lower lash line just to deepen it out. I love Revival as an eyeliner. I'm just gonna soften it with the fluffy end of the brush. Just like that. Okay, mascara. I have mine packed in my gym bag, so I'm gonna use this one. This is by Lancome. Mons oh gosh, I don't know. Monsieur? I'm not French. And I'm not teaching French, I'm teaching makeup. <laughs> but I, I get a lot of requests for people that just want two colors. And if you have a light fleck, not even a light fleck, if you have a light shimmer, Drift, Peppa, Crush, Soulmate, as you wish, any of those, and you're just looking to add one more, grab Revival. It's a good, nice, moody color that you can use to amp up your, your look from day to night. It's also something you can use as a day shadow. But because it looks so scary, everybody just thinks, nah, but it's such a pretty color. It's matte. It's not shimmery. It's so good. I'm just going to add some mascara. And look at, mascara changes everything. You can question your look, but then once you add mascara, I forgot to put some shimmer here. Adding a little, come on, shimmer to that inner corner. Adding mascara is what will decide if you need to add more or take away. I love me some mascara. All right, this one's a good one. I always like buying travel sizes if I wanna try a new mascara out. That way you're not breaking the bank on a mascara you may hate. And if you struggle with big bristles like this on your lower lash line, there's Rimmel has a really good mascara that has almost like a little skinny comb. It's good for doing lower lashes if you struggle with it. All right. That's it. So essentially, I just really wanted to show you Revival, and I also used Peppa. So two colors as my eyeliner and as my shadow. It's so good. So Revival, Peppa, put it on your list. Go get it. Go grab it. And have a great day.